think it was it was a period of stability. It was a period of uh, uh, I would say prosperity for the country. My children, just like the children of many other uh, families here, probably hardly know anything about hardship. Well, when we were younger, I mean, I just remember going to McRitchie with my brothers a lot. So family time then was a lot, as in we had a lot more family time then. But now, I think everyone leads quite an accelerated lifestyle. So like, we don't get the opportunity to travel as much anymore. So I think that, uh, honestly, I don't really know what has changed in Singapore much. I can't see it because every day seems like, you know, every day nothing really changes. But as you look back, actually things are quite different. Yeah, here, temper. Temper. <laughs> yeah. Come on, we're the same. <laughs> yeah. I feel that uh, I have overcompensated uh, in the sense that what I didn't have when I was young, I gave it to her and gave it too much. See? So, for instance, she's uh, quite argumentative. It's not true. Yeah. So, it's, it's never easy to convince her of an idea or a principle. I mean, my concept of a sweet little, sweet little girl never came true. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> I prefer her to be, perhaps be a bit more feminine, uh, dress up okay. more in dresses and we so on. And then, then you can see that she's either wearing shorts or jeans. I mean, those are the things. It's almost like, okay, so I know that's what you want, but you're not going to get it. <laughs> there were situations where we really had to fight it out to, to, to get you know, to a, a breakthrough to each other. Yeah. Actually, I think this happens in most families. No one really has to say sorry all the time. It's just that, you know, you wake up and then your day continues with this person that you live your life with every day and then soon he cracks a joke or I crack a joke and things are just normal again. But if we have particular topics that we really don't see eye to eye on, I, I will try not to touch on it anymore just because I think it just cannot lead to a good end. So I want them to learn from me or learn from, from my mistakes as much as possible, as early as possible, but it doesn't work that way. All my children want to learn stuff by mistake, their own mistakes. While you try to protect them, it is not seen as uh, beneficial. He is a man of principle, I would say. Like, when I do look at him and I do look at other families, he, he does he puts his family first. Like I, he does provide provide for us, and I always come home to food on the table, that kind of thing. But he's the kind that will, okay, no matter what is going on between me, or me and him, or me and my brothers, if we're in a fight, a really bad fight, let's say, he will still do what he has to do as a father. So I do look for him for advice, and maybe not in every aspect as he would like me to, but I know that if there's someone I can count on he will still come through, like he, he always does come through. So yeah, there was definitely a period of time when I was struggling and he helped me a lot, especially in school because he, he has a thirst for knowledge and, and he really, really likes his work. So yeah, I could definitely count on him in that sense, yeah.